Antani here, and today I am joined by my favorite person in the whole world. Me. I'm the favorite person. <laughs> <laughs> today, he is joining me because this video is um right up his alley. Oh, and by the way, before I get too far, he is in head to toe historic Viking garb. He's actually about to go film his own video. So I'm going to put a picture of this right here if you want to see the whole historic set, and I will have that linked below for you if you're looking for something like that. However, today we are talking about the Grimfrost wine opener. That is a, I'll put pictures in of this too. It is a hand forged raw iron wine opener. The corks are at the bottom. We have actually not even tried this yet. So we are gonna do that today. But first, let me see if there's anything of interest to be said. I don't think this is actually historical. Ragnar is gonna explain to you why it's not historical. Um, there's a really good reason why we would not see corkscrews like this from the Viking age. And he's gonna tell us about that. So typically something like a glass bottle with a cork in it would come from a place where the cork tree would grow. Wouldn't have been something that you would have seen uh, at least. There wouldn't have been trade lines that early. Yeah, there wouldn't have been trade lines to that to that location in the world. It was basically all, you know, from Scandinavia and down into Northern Africa. And then you might see some things from far east down the Silk Road. Um, but that still would have been later in the Viking Age. So the historical recreations that we normally see from Grimfrost, like the clothing and like some of the tools, you wouldn't see a need for a corkscrew because you're not opening glass bottles with corks in them. This is basically a modern fusion. A lot of our wrought iron tools that are from Grimfrost that are period pieces or they are replications of a piece that was actually found at an archaeological dig site. Where this would almost be considered just modern fusion. They took the style of what things would look like and they gave it a different purpose because they this would not have been necessary. And I, I did look to see if the site said anything special I should add but it doesn't. So we're gonna crack a bottle. This is from a local orchard and they have, you pick, they have stuff that you can buy just farm fresh. They have their own meadery and winery and they actually have a, um, a tasting room. So eventually when it is safe to be out in the world, I actually think we're gonna go to this orchard and we're gonna do a whole lot there. There is a little bit of an issue with them right now locally, but I'm gonna talk about that once we actually uncork this wine and then we can sip the tea while we sip the wine. Ooh. <laughs> Side note, they do also have great um, goats, goats, but haunted house attraction they do. I forgot as well we did as that. a haunted hayride. And the haunted house isn't my favorite. We really like a darker, scarier, uh, longer haunted house, but their hayride is great. And they have zombie paintball. Yes, that was you, so cool. <laughs> where you can go and shoot paintballs at people dressed in, you know, zombie wear. And if that is open and we feel safe to do so, then we actually may go and do that this year and we'll probably strap a GoPro on and take you all along with us. Yes. On to the wine, which is the fun part. Yeah. Only reason I'm here. It is actually the only reason he's here. This is going to be a part of a different video it didn't make sense for him, so we decided to split it into two videos and he could be a drunk with me. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to push this in. Definitely push down every time. I've had yes. trouble with corks where they want to become loose. How many Vikings does it take to unscrew a cork? There you go. Oh, yes, that's much better. We really don't drink a lot of wine at all. So, corkscrews are not something we use in our daily life. Like it's actually screwing deep enough into the cork to... So just push down every time you screw Oh, I am. It. Just grind out the cork and then it won't pull up. Won't have any tension in the screw. Well, we fucked up. The cork is in the line. And this is not the fault of the bottle opener because we don't drink a lot of wine and we do this every single time we open a bottle of wine. The cork ends up in it. We figure this could be a learning experience and we'll teach you what to do when your cork ends up in the wine. Can I have a wine glass? Normally we use a wire strainer, but I can't find it. I think ours might have got ruined. So this is a nut milk bag. I think I got two of these on Amazon for like five bucks. They're actually, much as it sounds, this is for making nuts out of things like almond and cashew, which if you want to see 
see a video on that, please let me know. So I'm taking this bag, I am putting the tip of it into this wine glass. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if that cork will kill you if you drink it, but... Not gonna digest it, I'd rather, sure. no, it will just come out whole. <laughs> I'd rather not. If you saw what I was doing there, I just put the tip in. We're gonna pull it all the way down, and then just make it so that if you can see inside, probably not. Oh, there we go. The inner corner is probably just a couple inches into the glass. If you have that corner all the way down, it'll stay absorbing wine. We want the wine to pour through this. I'll also probably stain it, but I don't really care. So if you have a piece of cloth or muslin or anything that you don't want stained, don't pour red wine through it. And then you're just gonna pour very slowly. Well, the cork is stuck there. Oh. Now it is. So sometimes it can be a little bit hard to get the cork out of it. I just put something kind of long and pointy in there so that the cork, it's probably a glass, so that the cork would fall into the bottle and now you can kind of see it's floating and then it's gonna be easy to pour stuff out of it. And truthfully, if the cork's not super damaged, you're probably not gonna strain a whole lot out, but if you don't wanna be eating cork. Seems legit. Right. Do you want to get a towel or something? I'm going to get a bowl, actually. I'm going to put it in Eladani has me trapped here hostage. I've been here for 28 days. I don't know my real name anymore. Hmm. What? What did you do? I didn't do anything. Why did you say shush? I'm talking to myself. I was just looking at myself in the mirror and I was like, shh. Like, I, I feel like shush. I look good. You know, like a shh. You, you shushed for another reason. No. No, it wasn't like, shh. Oh. What's over there? <laughs> <laughs> You'll see. You, you can edit it out if you'd like to. So, oh, cork-free wine. It's a Let's, little bit dry, a little bit. Let's pretend we know what we're doing real quick. So we have never, I mean, we like wine a little bit. Uh, we haven't explored it. I think about a year ago, we went to a, um, we went to Frankenmuth, which is a huge destination spot in Michigan, about an hour away from us. It's very touristy though. We did a wine tasting and actually tried like 18 different kinds of wine. <laughs> it was ridiculous. It was cheap though. Yeah, it was cheap. It was, I don't even know how they did it. It was like 15 bucks a person. We jumped on it. We had nothing to do. We were kind of having like a date day. Before coronavirus, we actually probably did that at least once a week or every other week where we'd go and kind of do something exciting, try new food, do something different, which I mean, we're not hurting that bad, but it would be nice to do something. However, that's how we really started to get experienced with wine. <laughs> This is very dry with tart fruity flavors that I think are still really good. I used to hate dry wine and that kind of changed it for me. If you fuck up and destroy your cork, you also have to drink the whole bottle. Those are the rules. Those are the rules. However, everybody says, oh my God, a bottle of wine. A bottle of wine is only four glasses. When I waited tables, I can't tell you how many times I would get like ladies luncheons in that I tried to sell them a bottle and then got mad and wanted to buy it by the glass all the time so literally they would pay it by the glass and drink like 15 glasses between four people instead of just buying a few bottles and literally probably ended up paying a whole lot more four glasses in a bottle of wine that's it unless it's a liter bottle or something like that i guess i don't even know if wine comes like that that's be, how little i drink wine i don't know if it comes outside of the normal bottle size that would be my kind of bottle of wine though a bigger bottle sure mm. So let's talk about Blake's a little bit. Just in this past week, they were under fire because it appeared that they were sponsoring a political rally for Trump. Tons of people were posting about canceling them. However, they did put a statement out. I think I have screenshots of this, so I'm gonna put this statement right here so you can actually pause and read it in full if you want to. They essentially, I think it was 
Do you know who the woman's name Lisa was? Lisa McLean. Oh, you know better than I do. Lisa McLean. She is a, a politician of some sort. I'm actually not even familiar with who she is. Do you know? No, she's running for something here in Michigan. Yeah, she's running for something here in Michigan. Blake's will allow political candidates to still host private functions and private gatherings. Um, right. So Lisa McLean, who is running for some kind of office in Michigan that I don't remember, she had rented a room for a small private gathering. What Blake's thought. And they will allow any political party to host private gatherings, but they, as a company do not take sides politically as a business i think it's the smartest thing you can do so politics religion when it comes to business none of that matters um when you're trying to make money and you want to be a community establishment you have to appeal to everybody and i'm sorry but green does not have religion green does not have, well green does have politics but that's a whole different story i guess it's better as a company to remain outside of that neutral yeah, yeah it's definitely better as a company to remain neutral <laughs> because again it's all about money i hate to be like that and there are there are definitely people that even us as business owners have been like i don't <laughs> i don't care if you want like if you're such an asshole we don't want your money that's totally no. one thing but for the most part i can understand re re remaining neutral within a company when it came out that they were having this trump rally there was an uproar. <clears throat> Essentially, McLean had spun it where she booked a private gathering, spun it as an open public rally that Blake's was sponsoring. They did immediately cancel it. They definitely tried to backtrack and they, they didn't want to take sides. They didn't want anything like that to be going on. A stop was put to it immediately and they were almost kind of bamboozled in it as well or it wouldn't have been booked. So I do choose to believe Blake's. Their story didn't seem made up and their responses did not seem overly made up or constructed. So we love Blake's. We've been going there for years. Um, before the the statement was made about why they even allowed this to happen and why it was canceled, we were kind of done. When we saw that they were openly being so political, we were done supporting. But I think their response and their statement and what happened was, for one, they explained everything and they did handle it in a way that was neutral. It, The way they handled it still didn't make it seem like they were one side or the other. So that's why we will still continue to support them. Yeah, I'm sure a lot of people much like us, you read something on social media where it's like, you know, it's saying Blake's is in support of this political, particular political rally. Um, and in a world that's so heated right now anyways, and so divided about everything you could ever have an idea for or have a side on, um, it, seemed like, it seems like there's high potential that people are quick to say, nope, no more. I'm not going to go there and get my site or I'll go to Yates, I'll go to another place that's not so politically forward. Um, but that I think that was the point of Lisa McLean's um, action was to it was shady. Yeah, it was it was it was, it was crooked really as hell. Where she wanted to have everybody who knows and loves Blake's think that they sponsored this particular mm -hmm. rally, and it, and that wasn't. When it was the case supposed to be private, just for a yeah, like a private event. I think they came out later that day. And for even the few hours that we thought that we weren't going to be at Blake's, it was that easy to say, no, we're not going to. So I wonder how many people didn't see the, the apology and the explanation from Blake's. And I hope everybody does end up seeing that because the place is phenomenal. Sure. And it's a staple here. It Michigan. really is. They have some of the best cider, such good fruit. I mean, you can pick your own apples, pick your own berries, all kinds of cool stuff. Again, I, I think that the way they, the way that they treated it, proved to me that their their hearts were in the right place and they were really trying to be neutral on it all. I don't expect a business to take one side or the other. I do believe that she's not any, she's no longer allowed to host private parties, period. Oh, Blake's. really? I'm pretty confident that. that's what I had read, but I'd love, if I'm wrong, it will tell you. Cancel culture is so prominent right now. I do definitely understand boycotting businesses that do things that aren't right, that are morally questionable. I, I am behind all that and I'm the exact same way. Even poor customer service, just bad business ethics is a reason enough for me to stop stop supporting a company. Yeah. However, I also think it's really important to hear both sides. I think it's really important to, I mean, even if a company is terrible one year, five years later, they could be very different and worth supporting and worth putting your, your, your money into. So I personally just think that canceling people that are super fucked up is totally understandable we do need to hear out both sides before we are so quick to jump to conclusions and possibly ruin you know i think 50 some years of a family business right because of something that was a complete misunderstanding they were even definitely taken advantage of just a little bit to to get a, a political point across and 
And having said that, I mean, we were ready to stop going right yeah. then and there. So we, we are the type to, um, you know, let's allow devil's advocacy where we hear both sides, even if we immediately want to favor one side. And there were a few hours there where we thought we weren't going to go again. And um, Because there was nothing being put out. And then right. within a few hours, we saw the statement that they were releasing. More wine. Well, thank you for sitting down and having a glass of wine with us. Sipping some tea about Blake's and hearing us out on our thoughts about it. Definitely check out the Grim Frost wine opener if you are good at using wine openers. Because yeah, that's we, a skill you have. Yeah, we destroy every cork. I don't know if I actually said this on video. I almost called you when you were at the store to be like, hey, get two bottles in case we destroy the first cork. Because I thought that would happen. And I thought, you know what? We'll be fine. We're not going to need to We're do that. adults. We can do this. And look at that. We could have used a second bottle of wine to actually demonstrate. It did so, seem like it worked. Um, I think it was me and we also tried to do it on camera so I think we just didn't have the pressure going into the corkscrew to make it work we're bad at it anyways and we always do this so yeah definitely know thyself get two two bottles of wine we should have you're gonna mess up the first one <laughs> plus then you have two bottles of wine instead of one yeah duh win, win. two is always better win 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 the late great well, Michael Scott <laughs> <laughs> say Thank you guys, and thank you, Eladani, for having me inside the dragon's den. It's hot in here. How could it not be? Look at her. <laughs> oh, Ragnar baby. Dracana. <laughs> thank you for coming I'm out. on. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You're welcome anytime you want. Specifically makeup videos I'd like to see you in. Yeah. Which, um, we might some, see those really soon, to be honest with you guys. Some eyelash videos, yeah. Oh, yeah, you look pretty... Yeah. His natural eyelashes actually really piss me off because they're so full and nice and I have nothing. If you watch my videos, you've totally heard me bitch about eyelashes. This guy's eyelashes are so full and long and pretty. Yeah, she makes me pluck them out and so that I'm not so pretty. <laughs> anyway. I've offered. I have offered to give up my eyelashes. You don't want to do that. No. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, having a glass of wine with us. Definitely make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell if you want to make sure you don't miss a thing and I will see you next time. And check out my channel. And check out his channel, Ragnar Dracana. I'm going to link that. That should pop up any minute. <laughs> oh, then we got to do that. Oh, you need here. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm pretending. I've been pretending. Just so you can do a cheers at the end yes. with me. All right. Let me give a little excerpt. Just in this past week. Oh, my God. I bit my tongue. <sighs> do you need a band aid? Mm-hmm. I'm waiting for a band-aid mm -hmm. and my tongue was out yeah. he was under the, they were under the impression that lisa mclean was we look at the camera they were under the impression that it just looks like you're like days <laughs> i'm sorry i am <laughs> you know um i just need it's what i do when you talk to somebody in real life Oops. i just look over here and, <laughs> like the dog sniffing the ground we'll be done in five minutes it's I not promise. you guys it's me this will be in the bloopers at the end, probably. Thank you.